Costa, big match on Saturday. How are you feeling for it? Yeah, we're feeling good. Obviously, off a good result on last weekend. Um, was feeling pretty confident, and you know we've we've done pretty well against Adelaide the last two games. So I think you know it should be more of the same, and uh, the boys are really going to push for to get a good result. Does Adelaide's improved form intimidate you at all? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, everyone's been up and down a bit this season, uh, uh, except for really Brisbane, who's been pretty consistent. Um, people have had good and bad patches, so it's just one of those things. And uh, you know, we've we've started to pick ourselves up as well after the two defeats, and uh, we're we're starting to look good as well. How's your body feeling in the ankle? Yeah, it feels good. Uh, obviously, the boss uh, eased me into it. Uh, played 65 last weekend, so you know, over the next few games, I have to just ease into it a bit. But I'm feeling pretty good. Did you expect to be out for a couple of weeks? At first, it didn't look as bad. Uh, yeah, actually, it's, um, they were looking at maybe more. Uh, so we actually took good care of it, and um, you know, I'm happy to be back um, pretty soon. And there's no soreness. A little bit, but you know, dealing with it and getting through it pretty good. How important is it then to, to, I guess, look at the load over the next few weeks, given all the extra games that you've got? Yeah, I think uh, you know we've got a lot of games coming up, and uh, obviously I've got national team duties as well. So um, you know we've got to look at our depths, and you know we've got everyone pretty much fit now, so everyone's got to be ready to go, and I'm sure we're going to use everyone over the next few months. Who's New Zealand one? Playing Japan and Tokyo, uh, week okay. after next year. Okay. Um, and obviously with the Asian Champions League, only three foreigners get in there, and you got in and gave me out. Did you um, did you know that was going to happen? No, I didn't know. I didn't get told, um, and you know we didn't get talked to. I think the boss probably talked to Gee about missing out, but other than that, I didn't get spoken to or anything like that. It just sort of happened naturally. Yeah. It must be rough to get in though. Obviously, it's quality uh, internationals amongst you. Yeah, it would have been hard on whoever missed out. You know. Um, I guess the boss just had to make a decision of who he sort of needed in those midweek games as well, um, with the amount of cover we have and stuff like that. And you know, it's just a bit unfortunate the gear as well because he's looking really good too. What do you think of your running um, your chances against reigning champions, Guanzo Brent? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, you know, we're going to maybe have to pick our chance, uh, pick our uh, moments to go and attack them as well. Play a little bit smarter maybe out there, but you know, I think. Going forward, we're, we're a very dangerous team, and you know if we can uh, get at them on a, a counter attack and hurt them, I think we can we can do a good job over there. How have you viewed your season personally? I guess it's been interrupted with injuries, and you got in fairly late. I think you obviously had a lot of international games early on, so it's been all over the place. Yeah, to be fair, I think obviously interruptions-wise, it's been a little bit annoying for myself, but uh, I think I've fitted into the structure pretty well. Obviously. Maybe would have liked to score a few more goals. Um, I've had a few assists, which is good. Um, but I think the structure fits me pretty well, and the boss and everyone in the staff's been pretty happy with me as well. Has it been be. difficult because there's been so much chop and changing with the side and the victory this year? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but you know that happens a lot of times in the A League. Um, you know, every year there's a handful of players out of contracts, and sometimes you got a bit of your squad from scratch. And you know, the boys lost a few good players last year as well. And I think we've done quite well, uh, you know, recruiting and and building a solid team. You had the big club, the country row here in Australia. Whenever there's a national game, soon the game in Japan's a friendly. Would you consider, you know, for the good of the team, maybe just dialing that one in, staying with the victory squad? Yeah, I think because it's a FIFA window, you can't really do that. Uh, obviously, I'd love to stay and you know help the boys as much as I can. I'm, you know, I'm a big, big on uh, helping the team, but uh, those things just happen, and you can't really do anything about it. it. And how have you found the? Um the position and the system obviously it's a little bit different to I guess what you would have played um, you know, previously. Yeah, it's um, a little bit new to me, not not coming in and receiving the ball inside like I did in the previous years. Um, but I actually like it. Um, I like to make the runs in behind, and you know that's pretty much what I'm in the team to do and to get in good areas to score as well. Uh, and I think yeah, I've, I've fit in pretty well to it, and I've just embraced it. Amy Park, are you worried about the surface given that there's been a couple of concerts? Uh, I think, you know, they, they take care of it pretty well. I haven't actually been there, so I'm not sure, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be right. There's two games this weekend back to back. Are you glad that yeah. you're the, the first one, the heart second? Yeah, definitely. Might have to chop it up for them a little bit. <laughs>